Right, so today I would show my week three Premier League predictions. So stay around. Everybody fucking drunk. But anyway guys, if you could smash 60 likes, that'd be amazing. Subscribe if you're new. Um, I'm sorry that I haven't uploaded in the past few days. I felt a bit ill and uh, I had my GCSE result. Uh, I was going to react to it, but I went straight to bed because I didn't even sleep that day. Uh, but they didn't go great, so that's all I'm going to say. But anyway, jumping into the week three predictions. Let's go. Um, yeah, let's just jump straight into it. Right, first game is Bournemouth against Man City. The early kickoff on Saturday. And let me just know, uh, let me just tell you, I only do the Saturday's Premier League predictions. Um, so yeah, and as you can see on the side, it says the leaderboard, and I'm currently at the, at the top of the leaderboard with four points, and George is on with two points. So um, as you guys know, I'm going to try and get some of you guys on, but I've been really unorganised lately. I'll get you guys on though, and you could try and challenge me, George, and stuff like that. Anyway, jumping into the first game, Bournemouth gets Man City. Um, I think it's going to be a good game. I think it's going to be very tight. Bournemouth still haven't had a win. Man City haven't been great. They drew to Everton and I think they won the first game, didn't they? I can't really remember their first game. But um, anyway, I think it's going to be a tight game. I'm going to go 2-1 City. Um, not much more to say about that other than I think City will have a little bit more than Bournemouth. But Bournemouth are going to pack the bus. And, and trust me, Bournemouth are going to do well. So yeah. Um, next game, Crystal Palace against Swansea. A lot of people are going to say Crystal Palace win. And I'm, I'm going to say it straight up. I'm going to go 2-1 Swansea. But, that's because there's no Zaha for Crystal Palace, and the Crystal Palace manager, it's the ball, isn't it? Um, he's, trying to make, he's trying to make them play Tiki Taka, and it doesn't work. It does not work. Ben Teke does not suit that. Um, so, I'm going to go 2-1 to Swansea. Swansea have signed a, a decent little player in Sam Klukas. So, will he start from Hull? He's a decent little player. Anyway, jumping into uh, Huddersfield against Southampton. Uh, Huddersfield have started 6. Southampton... Not too bad. They've, they've got a late goal against West Ham last week in like the 93rd minute or something. But um, anyway, I'm going to go 3-1 Southampton. I was going to go 2-1 Southampton, but I don't know. I think it's going to be Southampton's day. Um, it might be completely different. Huddersfield might win 3-1, but I think it's one of those games that could go either way. It depends how much sleep they get on that night. So, yeah, I think it's going to be 3-1. Um, with I think Redmond's going to bag a few goals. Um, anyway, Newcastle against West Ham. This is a really tough game to predict because West Ham have been average. They lost 3-2. They got very unlucky last week. Newcastle have looked fairly poor. Um, they're all lucky against Spurs because John Joe Shelby was just a dickhead. But anyway, I've gone for this game to all. I think it's going to be obviously full of goals. I, th I, I think it's the fairest way to put it. I think Newcastle may win. But, um, yeah, West Ham have like the likes of Hernandez. Uh, West Ham have the better players, basically. But I think Newcastle have got that little something. They always have it against Chelsea. They, they have it against big clubs where they just have that something. That Papa C said to sort of touch. But anyway, 2 all in that game. Uh, jumping into the next game, it's Watford against Brighton. So, Watford have a really good team, basically. Not a really good team, but they have a really good manager, basically. And he brings the best out of each player. That's what I was trying to get out. Shalabra in the middle was brilliant last, last game. Um, so, they've got that grey, and they've got that Rich... Uh, Rich Allison, I can't say his name. Rich Allison or something. Rich Hudson. I, I don't know. He scored last game anyway. He looks sick. So, I've gone for this game. 2-1 to Watford. Um, yeah. Brighton are decent, but I think Wat Watford will have the uh, the touching edge and they will win that 2-1. So jumping into the last Saturday game, the late kickoff, Man U against Leicester. I think this is going to be the upset. I think, let, right, hear me out once saying this, hear me out, right? So United got kind of lucky last match and you might, you might think, oh, they won 4-0. That game was like 0-0 up until... Right, so that game was 0-0 up until the half-time whistle, but... Pogba shouldn't have been on the pitch, um, so that goal would have been cancelled out basically. But anyway, and then yeah, just mistakes happen from them. But anyway, I think this game's going to be too old. I think it's going to be very tight. Leicester are that team that always bring it to you. Like they always come up with uh, good performances. And Jamie Vardy looks on form. Mares looks brilliant. I hope he comes to Chelsea. Actually, Chelsea are after him. Um, but yeah, two all in that game. Um, not much to say other than it's full of goals and um, yeah, I think it's going to be a good game. But anyway, I want to know what you guys think of my predictions. Um, there's probably going to be a lot of triggered United fans. <laughs> but anyway, um, if you could smash a like, that'd be amazing. Subscribe if you're new. Hopefully I get a few scores right and hopefully I can uh, move up the leaderboard. But anyway, if you want to be involved, 
put hashtag Febreze. If you want to be involved in this series, hashtag Febreze and I'll get you on. Anyway, drop a like, subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one. On the